Hola, ¿y qué tal mis amigos? He dicho que voy a practicar mi español, entonces voy a practicar unos con vosotros. Uh, esta mañana estoy cociendo un plato de España, se llama tortilla española. Y tenemos dos trozos de pan, dos cafés italianos. Y me encanta la tortilla española porque tiene muchas cosas que me encanta. ¿Y tú puedes entender o no? No, no, yo sé. También estoy cociendo tapas o pinchos muy tradicional de España. Vamos a poner un trozo de tortilla en un pan. All right, it's a male vlog. A male vlog. Woo! What is in here? What do we got? Who's it from? And from where? I don't know who it's from yet, or from where it is from. No? Okay. Proceed. Ooh, cool wrapping paper. Beautiful wrapping paper. There we go. Tab in. Oh! Uh oh! <laughs> I got my own! Look how cool this card is! <laughs> Look it! Zebras! Let's see. That's awesome! Let's see. I love that. Uh, the sun is kind of... Ooh! I love it that. It reminds me of Dativ. Please continue. Oh, That's sick. that is awesome. I hope I get some cool animal in here. From Isabel. In she lives in England. So, Isabel. Wait, I'm cur I currently live in south of England. I am from Spain. Southampton. Okay. Cordoba. Oh, Isabel. Ay, que bonita. <laughs> Oh, I've been to Cordova. I love Cordova. Thank you for the card, Isabel. And thank you for the awesome t-shirt. Ryan Gosling loves me. That is so funny that I just got this today because I follow him on Twitter and he just started tweeting again because he came out with a movie that he directed, his directorial debut. But that's pretty sweet. Oh, that's a cool card too. Yeah, how, how relevant that uh, I started the vlog out in Spanish today. I know. And I got a Spanish card. That's awesome. Hola Kevin, espero que entiendo todo lo que te escribo. Por supuesto, I understand everything that you're writing. Ended her letter with un abrazo para Dativ y para ti. Do you know what that means, Dativ? No. A hug for me. Uh, what did you get? Isabel, I loved reading your letter in Spanish. It really helps me out. Understand the language. Pretty sweet. You're gonna have to write some letters now. Heck yeah. That's actually really cool. Well, I got what I wished for. It's probably 80 degrees out right now. I think, it feels like 80 degrees. And I just went for a run. My face is probably still really red. Kevin's still on his bike ride. <laughs> it's so hot. It's different when it's hot here because it's high elevation, so I can't breathe and I'm sweating like crazy. And I spit like a sailor when I'm running. I'm a little concerned because we have to pick up Emmett from school in four minutes. And Kevin's not home yet from his bike ride. I bet he's riding a little bit slower than normal because it's so hot out and he's not used to it. Hopefully he gets back on time. People up the mountain. I was worried about you. Why? Because you have to leave. No, it's fine. Did you hear what I said though? You passed three people? I was ripping it. Passed three people up the mountain, left them in the dust. Looked back and they're like a mile behind me. Nice. Check it out, I fit in Emmett's car seat. We're taking baby to school. <laughs> Cute. Those windows are kind of fun, huh? Why? Because you have to crank them down. <laughs> you have to crank them as... Oh, mine's all the way down. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you said my hand is... See, I know why. Did you have a good day at school? Yeah. Were you good? Hey, let me see your teeth. Ha <laughs> ha, you lost them. Wait. Three teeth? Oh my gosh. It's a, it's did, a new one coming in here. Did the tooth fairy bring you anything? Um, my Money? Uh, yeah, a round one and a dollar. <gasps> a but dollar? this big. Oh my gosh. Oh my, this big actually.
All right, Mr. McHugh has cleaned out the whole garage. And, and right now, I'm gonna see how much my bike weighs the old fashioned way. So according to this scale, I weigh 155 pounds. Now with the bike. Okay, so my bike ended up weighing 20 pounds. Pretty light. Almost as much as a beach cruiser. <laughs> this bike weighs the exact same as Emmett's little I think you weighed it wrong. little uh, training wheel. You weigh it yourself and see. Boom. See that tan line right there? Looking sharp. Sometimes you just gotta break down in Starbucks, so that is what I'm doing. I'm working on my movie. It's, it helps to get out of the house to write because I just feel like it's putting me in a new environment and just makes me more in work mode. So I'm gonna work here for like an hour, and then we're gonna go back and have dinner with Ben. Uh, <laughs> That's his name. Are you having a little, are you cheating a little bit? Before dinner? I'm so hungry. I feel like I'm back in college at Starbucks studying. Even though I probably only did that once. Everything else I did last minute. I got A's, but I would do it always last minute. It's just the way that I worked. Yesterday was Putanesca night. Tonight is paella night. Kevin will be cooking. Notice these two colors? That Spanish flag? Yep. This looks great, Kev. Yeah, we just need some hard cider now. Actually, that sounds delicious. Uh, we did Italian yesterday, Spanish today. What should we do tomorrow? <laughs> He's got his wine tasting hat on. Roses, rose, fresh cut hose. <laughs> oh, freshly opened tennis balls. There's earthy. Yes, there's definitely a city. There's a little earthy. <laughs> Two fingers up. There's only one thing this could be. <laughs> this is a World market wine. wine. <laughs> this is a new wine, 2013. This is from France. This is from the region. Disgusting. Oui, oui. Bonjour. Oh no, I have a bass chapelle on, so I have to say like, Cajo Sermus. What does that mean? Hello, how are you? Bonjour. I love that beret. Thank you. You look so good with it. Thanks. Probably look way better than I do. Mom, what do you think about our berets? Pogo. What do you think about that nice beret? Oh, She looks so cool. It's like you were meant to wear this thing. With your glass of rosé. Very Marseille of you, Provence. Ex in Provence. Which do you guys choose? Do you choose the peanut butter patties, the thin mints, the shortbread, or the caramel delights? I think I pick uh, shortbread. No, I'm just kidding, I pick peanut butter patties. Which is your favorite uh, Girl Scout cookie? I thought they were called Samoas, but I guess they're called Caramel Delights. Samoas? You said something else. Just so gonna oh, go. Oh, Dosey Dose. This is the peanut butter one, right? Oh. Uh, right, Kelly? What's your favorite Girl Scout cookie? Oh, Caramel Delights. No, I have new ones. You want to see them? Yeah, let's see. Bring them out. Okay. Coco, what's your favorite uh, Girl Scout cookie? The caramel ones I love. <laughs> I like the caramel. <laughs> Sven's peanut butter patty he already picked. Actually, thin, I, I know I've changed my mind twice, but Thin Mints are definitely my favorite. I don't even know why this is a... Shortbread dipped in chocolate. That's your favorite? It's so good. That and the More than else. Thin Mints? The Thin Mints are literally my third or fourth. Thin Mints are so good. It goes these, and then the Caramel Delights, and then the peanut butter Dot patties. might have to get that one because there's an Eiffel Tower in it. What are we doing right now? Going to bed. Up, up, up. Good night, Tata. Good night. And good night, you guys. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you're subscribed. If you're not, hopefully you'll go and subscribe to the channel right now because that always makes us smile. What? I hope you have an awesome morning, afternoon, night, wherever you are. I hope you have an awesome morning, afternoon, night, wherever you are. Signing out. Sayonara.